y'all. Good afternoon. This is um, so. This is the next installment in the Project Pan um, video series. This is so. I've got two um, Project Pans going. The one that I talked about a couple of days ago, the um, Roulette Pan uh, collab. This one is called Panners Bingo, and it was um, it's through a Facebook group called the Fantastic Ladies Collab. Um, it's sponsored by Kana from Kana's Closet. And the way this one works is that um, Kana has five bingo cards and you choose one of the cards. And on the around the around ten days before the month starts, she calls five numbers just like you would, you know, for bingo. And then whatever the um, the number that you get there's a prompt and once you finish your product or finish your usage goal or whatever for that product you get um, you can mark that off your bingo card and when you get five in a row then the game is is um, done you get bingo so that was kind of how this one works um, so you may get she may call all five numbers that are on your card that month or she may call no numbers that are on your card that month um, so this started in September, so I'm a little bit late getting started. I, I started um, around the middle of September, but um, the videos, the updates are going up on the first of, of every month, so I decided to just wait and do my intro and my October at the same time. So the September numbers of the um, five numbers that she called for September, I had three of them on my card and I'm going to put it up here somewhere so you can see which numbers I have. Um, for September I had B8 and the prompt for B8 was favorite beverage. And so I had to find something in my collection reminds me of my favorite beverage. So I have this um, MAC lip color in, um, it's a cream sheen lipstick and the shade is cream in your coffee. And people who know me in real life would not be surprised at this at all. It's browner than I would tend to usually use, but I really, it's got this pink undertone that I really like. Um, and I think it'd be really nice for the fall. So I have set a goal of 25 uses before that will roll out of my project. So that's my first one. And then G8, Oh, sorry, G58 is least favorite color. Um, now, my least favorite color is orange. I don't like looking orange. I don't like being orange. I don't like wearing orange. And um, orange is why I'm canceling my Ipsy subscription when, it, when it's time to renew again. Because I keep asking them for pinks and plums and they keep sending me brown and orange. I asked them for pinks and plums and they send me this, I don't know, it's called cinnamon roll, but it's like more like pumpkin sparkle color, shade of eyeshadow. Um, this was actually in the bin for my daughter to look at when she got here, when she comes home to visit. But um, I'm sorry, sweetheart, it was the ugliest thing in the house that I hated the most. So it goes in the project pan for right now. Um, it is a... Um, very coppery, orangey, shimmery eyeshadow. Um, yeah, this is a terrible color on me. I have really pink undertones and orange just is not. So I'm kind of struggling with how to use this. I've played with it a little bit. Um, and I have set a goal of 15 uses. And I've used it a little bit as a topper on just to warm up some of the um, the browner tones. I've also used it um, very sparingly with my bronzer as just kind of a little highlight um, across my cheeks. So I'm as long as I'm not real heavy-handed with it that way, it, it's okay. Um, so my goal for this one is 15 uses. And uh, then baby girl, little go back in your box and you can look at it when you come home. All right, so the third one, that a third number that I got on the um, September number call was skincare. And I had thought 
that I was just about to finish using up my big tub of CeraVe moisture cream in the bathroom because um, I got down to the bottom of the squirty pump and wasn't getting much out. So I opened it up and I'm glad I did because lo and behold there was still enough in the bottom of that container that I couldn't get out with the little pump to fill up half of this container and this entire three ounce TSA approved squirt bottle. Okay, so my goal is to, this is the rest, there's only like a little bit, little tiny bit in here now, but um, to finish up the rest of the CeraVe moisturizing cream that I thought was gone, but it really was in the bottom of the container. So this is my skincare product. Um, the middle square on the bingo card where it's usually a free space, um, for this pan you can choose, it's a mini or um, deluxe sample of your choice. So a bigger, uh, a smaller size of something, not a true sample. Um, so what I have for that one is the, um, I have a, a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Pencil. Um, the mini lipstick is in my other uh, pan project, so the mini lip pencil is in this one. Um, it's, yeah, it's already like that, that short. Wait a minute. I'm still new at this. Y'all have to be patient with me in the camera. Um, so yeah, that, that won't be any problem. That'll be my, my middle. All right, for October, I only had one number on my card that was um, that was called so and that prompt was it's 061 and that prompt was something magical so I thought about it and so for that one for this prompt I am using the um, my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray um, because if you really think a setting spray is going to airbrush and make your complexion look flawless, you have got to be believing in magic. Um, although it will melt your mascara off in short order if you haven't figured that out. Um, so if you like, if you want to try this, um, spray it on before you paint your eyelashes. Just a lesson learned. Um, so that is my the only thing that is on my list um, for October. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how much I can get done this month. Um, I really, really want to not, I really don't like orange, y'all. I want to get rid of that one. Um, and um, then we'll see how, what comes up in November, see if there's more stuff. All right, y'all have a good day.